my firstborn child and this is Piglet Franklin Pearson. He's two years old and he is my baby. I love him so much. He actually just had a birthday. Can you guys hear him snorting? Like he snorts all the time. It's so funny. And he has a curly tail so we decided that Piglet would be the perfect name for him. But yeah, he just recently had a birthday and him turned two years old. He's so, so cute. You wanna say hi, baby? Want to say hi? Want to say hi to YouTube? Okay, he doesn't want to say hi, I don't think. Alright, so we are actually going to be doing a haul for you guys because Pet Collective allowed Piglet to go on a little mini shopping spree and he was able to pick out some goodies. So I wanted to share them with you guys. And Piglet is sleeping away right now. He's so cute. Can you guys hear him snoring? He snores really loud sometimes. But yeah, we're going to be doing a haul video for you guys and hopefully Piglet will get into the haul. You want a treat, baby? Oh yeah, does him want a treat? Him knows what treats means. Look! Uh, oh yeah, he loves treats. Okay, so the first thing we have is this popcorn. And this is peanut butter flavor. And Piglet loves peanut butter, don't you baby? You love peanut butter? You love peanut butter? These actually came from PetSmart. Everything that I got came from PetSmart. And I'm going to give him one of these. Stay. Stay. Day. There you go. Good boy. He's gonna like run off and eat it. I don't know why. Like when I give him treats and stuff, he likes to run off and eat them. I don't know why. This is the popcorn, and Piglet seems to really be enjoying it right now. So yeah, um, it's low fat, low calorie, low sodium, and it's a healthy dog treat. So that's why I decided to get it because he's a little chunk. He weighs 20 pounds, but I do hear that 20 pounds isn't much for a pug because usually pugs at his age they usually weigh way more than 20 pounds. So yeah, um, he's I guess he's in pretty good health. So yeah, this is the first thing that we got him, and it's popcorn. Okay, so. The next thing Piglet decided to get was this ball right here and this is actually a rubber ball and it's really durable and the reason I got this is because usually everything Piglet plays with it has cotton inside of it and that is a big big mess for us like he ends up taking all of the cotton out and it gets all over the house so yeah I've decided to throw away all of the cotton toys and only get him things that are like really really durable because sometimes he eats the cotton and that is not good like he probably cannot digest just that stuff like I would tell you guys like a really really nasty story but it's really nasty so I know you guys don't want to hear so yeah we got him this durable ball do you like this baby come here come here come show him how much you like your new ball love your new ball do you love it no you love it and the next thing Piglet got is this little water bottle thing right here and what it does is you fill this part up and you just let the water drain into this and if you ever go like to the park or anything you'll have this and you don't have to worry about like carrying extra bowls because usually what I'll do is I'll just carry like extra um, bowls and like bring a bottle of water but if you have this you don't have to worry about bringing the bowls because it has this and he can drink out of it do you like that baby uh-huh do you like it so next are these really cute bowls and they look like this how adorable is this I thought that these were so so, so cute. Really, really adorable. And I usually like to um, take these if we go like on vacation, you know, like a little mini road trip. I love to take little bowls like this, you know, to put his food and water in. So yeah, I got two of those and they're super duper cute. You like them, Piglet? Do you like them? Milk bone? He loves milk bone, so I decided to get him this really big jar. Um, and we usually use these to try to train him, but honestly, he's not the the only thing we've successfully taught him how to do is sit. He knows how to sit and that's it. But like he understands like certain phrases so he's actually pretty smart. I'm sorry for saying that about you baby. You're smarter than I say, than I give you credit for. Would you like a milk bone? You want a milk bone baby? Gave Piglet a milk bone and he ran off to eat that. So now I'm going to talk about the things that he probably won't be that interested in. And that is things to keep him deodorized and to bathe him in and all of that stuff. So the first thing that I got him is the Martha Stewart Pets Natural Shampoo and Conditioner. And it had a pug on it so I just decided to get this kind. But it contains baking soda and it naturally neutralizes odor. So I've never tried this and I thought that it would be pretty good for him. We bathe him 
probably about three times a month which I think some people would still say that's too much and some people would say that's too less but I think it really depends on the person so yeah usually two to three times a month is what we do and the next thing that I got him is the natural deodorizing spray and then Piglet decided to get this little cute bandana to go around his neck so he can look really cute when we all three go ride on motorcycles. So yeah, I thought that that was super duper cute. And then he got this, which is, um, I don't know exactly. Oh, I guess it's like one of those tug of war things. And this is by Brett Michaels and it has little skulls on it. So the next thing he has is this little pig right here. And this is a really durable stuffed animal. Actually, it's not even stuffed. It's just like one of those that's kind of like hard on the inside and it doesn't have any cotton, which is really good, especially if your dog is like piglet and likes to rip open stuffed animals and get the cotton out. So yeah, this is really, really durable. As you can see, it says it on the tag. So yeah, I hope he likes this because like the cotton is really dangerous for him because like he loves loves to eat it but yeah this is a little pig and we got it because his name is piglet of course so the next thing we got is one of piglet's favorite treats ever he absolutely absolutely loves these things and it is bacon what pug do you know that doesn't love bacon piglet absolutely loves this stuff if you say bacon want some bacon eat your bacon baby come get your bacon Oh yeah, say I love bacon. Say no mom, give me my bacon, give me my bacon. And we also picked up this soft bristle brush and this is for short hair. And um, a lot of people ask me how do you deal with the shedding with pugs because they do shed a lot. What I like to do normally is brush him at least one time throughout the day, usually in the morning times and it will like, it will cut down the shedding tremendously. The next thing we picked up was this little bag right here. And this is going to be his travel bag. So whenever we go to the park or we go on like a little vacation, you can put everything that he needs inside the bag so he can have it all in one place. And it's not that big, but it's um, big enough to put whatever he'll need for like the weekend if he's going like away or something like that. Um, it's actually just a reusable bag and I thought it was cute. All right, Piglet, so that's the end of the haul. Now you can play with all of your goodies do you want to say anything to the people on YouTube he's like no I'm just ready to play and eat treats and all of that fun stuff but Piglet does want to personally thank the pet collective for all of his new goodies he is a spoiled little boy and we love him so much mommy loves him so much doesn't she we just want to thank the pet collective and we also want to thank them for giving $500 to our charity of choice in piglet's name so we thought that that was awesome and thank you guys for watching this video and we will talk to you next time say bye piglet say bye say bye say bye say bye <laughs> okay you guys we'll talk to you later bye